Good morning and welcome to this brand new day. This is Scripture Link's Daily Dose of Inspiration for Thursday, October 18th, 2018. And as you wake up and you start this brand new day, thank God for this day. Give Him praise for what He's done yesterday. You know, I saw a thing on Facebook, a little picture on Facebook. And it really had me thinking. It said, it showed one of those little post-it notes. And it said, what if you woke up today with only the things that you thank God for yesterday. It's kind of a sobering thought, isn't it? Take time today to thank God for the things that's important in your life, even thanking Him for the things that's not important in your life. Thank Him for what He's doing. Thank Him for what He's given you. Thank Him for what He's provided. Thank Him for Him. Think about that. Our scripture reading today is taken from the book of Psalm, chapter 119, and it's verses 1 through 5. Scripture says, Blessed are the undefiled in the way who walk in the law of the Lord. Blessed are they that keep his testimonies and that seek him with with the whole heart. They also do no iniquity. They walk in his ways. Thou hast commanded us to keep thy precepts diligently. Oh, that my ways were directed to keep thy statutes. Friends, we see a lot of things in here that really pertains to our walk, and hopefully our walk is is lined up with the Word of God. He says here in verse 1, Blessed are the undefiled in the way who walk in the law of the Lord. Friends, we need to make sure that we're walking according to the principles and the teachings and the commands that Jesus had given us there in the New Testament, but also walking in the ways of the Old Testament, walking after God, walking after the law that he has given. Now, in us, as we see in verse 5, we can't do it on our own. In verse 5, he says, Oh, that my ways were directed to keep thy statutes. That would be an awesome thing, but our nature is contrary to God. Our nature goes against the things of God, so therefore we have to learn how to do the things of God. And and in verse 1, we saw that that we are undefiled when we walk in the way of the Lord. And he says in verse 2, Blessed are they that keep his testimonies, and that seek him with the whole heart. That's one of the ways that we can we can start walking after him, that we can start walking in the precepts and the laws of God, is to seek God with our whole heart. You know, you've heard the phrase undoubtedly, um, oh, he didn't do well because his heart wasn't in it. Well, friends, our heart needs to be in this relationship with God. This heart, Our heart needs to be in our walk. We have to desire the things of God. We have to chase after the things of God, and that's what he's saying here. And that seek him with their whole heart. And then in verse 4 it says, Thou hast commanded us to keep thy precepts diligently. You see, the key to that phrase there, that, that verse there, is diligently. We have to be diligent to keep seeking him with our whole heart. That's a verb. It's an action. We need to be taking action to seek him. We can't sit there and be seeking God while we're flipping through the TV channels. we got to be seeking God when we're in his word, studying his word. Then he says, they also do no iniquity or no sins. They walk in his ways. That's a result of seeking God diligently with our whole heart and allowing him to change us. Friends, how are you seeking God today? Are you given a half-hearted attempt at walking after the Lord? Are you in it with your whole heart? Are you diligently taking time to seek him? Are you diligently praying and asking God to lead and direct you? And then are you waiting for him to direct your paths? You know, what's the use of of asking him to direct our paths if we're not going to wait on his leading? It'll be, it'll be, well, diligently seek him. Seek him with your whole heart. Pray that you can start walking in his ways and then commit to following the paths that he has laid out before you. Think about that as you go through this day. And remember, get into God's word and allow God's word to get into you and then share that word with someone today. Have a blessed day.